Hello. Hi. Good morning. It could be better, but it's not <laughs> bad. It's not. I was really worried that uh, Liverpool was going to beat us. I'm an Everton supporter, and uh, Mer uh, the Merseyside derby was was just on this morning in in uh, Liverpool. So um, there was a chance I was going to be really upset today, but it ended up in a draw. So it's all good. <laughs> that works. All right. Um, here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try sharing this screen to you so you can see what I'm seeing as I'm seeing it, if that works. Okay. Does that work? I believe so. Cool. Alrighty. So, um, talk us through what all's changed. I noticed that it says scoop alpha still, but it's not really technically alpha anymore, is it? Is this beta, right? Well, sort of. This is the final alpha build. Ah, okay. Um, so it's it's feature complete. Uh, basically, anything that I add to that is going to be working on the beta. But so technically, yeah. development status is is in beta now. But that is the last alpha build. Got it. So scoop is officially in beta then. Yes. All right. So um, we got a couple of new things here. We've got scores, which is yeah. That's the important. I'm on thing. here. Yeah, let's be honest. I'm on here, which I'm happy about. Um, I probably won't top those scores. We'll see. Are these um, just for, like, are these local or is it internet? Uh, they're just local. Oh, okay. It's, it's just on, on your computer. Um, I, I might add uh, online leaderboards in the future. I have not decided yet. I have a couple different ways that I could implement that if uh, players think it's you know worth worth adding. Um, if I do, then it's probably going to be not like a requirement that use it. It'll probably be like when you're happy with your scores, you can submit to the leaderboard that sort of thing. Right. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool beans. Okay. And um, I notice you got profile here as well. You can make multiple profiles if you want to have like multiple people sharing the same booter. Yeah, yeah. Right now you can have up to six. I figured that was a a, a good enough number. I mean, it's kind of arbitrary. I can make that limit whatever I want, but six works for now. If uh, if people need more, then then just let me know. Sounds um, good. I noticed you switched to the dark theme. Yes, I did switch to dark theme. So uh, this is another thing I noticed. I actually, already set this up a little bit. Um, there's music, you've got sound controls, I turn them down because my sound on my computer is wonky. Um, and this is this is huge for me. The full screen, as far as window size, you can totally, not well not totally customize, but basically totally customize your window size, which is amazing. Especially if you're doing streaming like, like me, because I had issues with it in full screen, because as soon as I clicked to anything else, the game would disappear. Um, so this is this is amazing as far as I'm concerned. Is being able to to play in windowed mode and then colorblind mode is because I'm <laughs> this is actually I think this is probably put in there partly because of me because it's hard otherwise <laughs> but I'm well, very happy that you well, can right. just like I mean, toggle that, it on and it's why, easy to uh, see. If, if you check the credits your name is in there because of that vital feedback. <laughs> um, you so, know I. I, I had originally, I didn't know it was going to need colorblind mode, you know, as a separate toggle. I figured uh -huh. just having different symbols on, on the gems is, is going to be enough. But, uh, you know, as, as we found out very quickly when you tried to play it, you couldn't tell what color you actually were. It was awful. So. <laughs> it was awful. So um, let's check the light theme. So this is the light theme. This is basically the original one, right? Yeah, that's the default. Okay, and then we've got dark, which is one I was just using, and then chess is, what's chess theme? It is a chess themed game. That is the first premium theme. It, right now, it's the only premium theme. Okay, cool. So everyone will get light and dark, and then if you get a premium, right. then you'll get this chess theme, and then other ones incoming later, right? Right. Okay, cool. Uh, the chess theme is the first one, kind of as the the prototype for the functionality. Got it. And then, uh, you know, going forward through the beta process, I'm going to be adding a lot more uh, themes for the premium and a lot of polish and just overall improving the graphics and the fidelity of it. Makes sense. So, so now you, I mean, you see here you've got like controls and then detailed information 
about the game, which is cool. But in the true style of stream stuff. Oh, okay, cool. Oh my. And there's music now. Yeah, um, the music itself is placeholder. Uh, it is my own composition, but it, it's placeholder. Um, it's basically just kind of designed to show the functionality. It should increase in tempo as um, the danger level rises. Oh my. That's gonna get. The, that's uh, gonna make it even more stressful than necessary. Right. Exactly. If you look in the bottom left corner. Yeah, I'm uh, seeing new stuff here. You'll see the uh, the debug information. I moved it all down there, and you can uh, show or hide it with the F1 key. Um, but th that uh, danger level information uh, will ch every time the danger level goes up, which um, I can explain how that works if, if you're interested. Yeah, go for it. But uh, every, every time that goes up, the music will change, and it'll get more and more tense. Um, basically, every square, um, you know, e there's four different sides, and each of those sides has, you know, four lanes, each with seven squares in them. Every one of those squares has kind of a danger point value, and if there's a gem on one of those squares, then uh, you add up, like, basically ev every step, or, you know, ev every frame, um, you just add up all the squares that have gems on them, and what are their danger point values, and that determines how, uh, how dangerous your current position is. Interesting. So uh, it's... And, and the closer towards the center, the more, uh, more dangerous. What's the maximum danger points that you can get? Oh, the maximum, I don't know. I've never added it up because it, <laughs> I mean, it, would, be, it, it would be insane. It, it would be um, if you added up the, you know, for all the squares, so. Challenge accepted. Um, I don't know if you can actually accurately test that, but it'd be fun to try. To test what? To test, like, to see how filled you can get the squares, and and see how high oh. you can get your danger <laughs> score. Well, I like, mean, I've I've seen the danger score go as high as like fifteen, sixteen hundred. Oh my. Okay. Um, in in act just in actual play while I'm right. trying to keep right. that down. All right, cool. So, so the the basic gameplay is the same. I'm yeah. curious to see what happens when when we get more in danger. Now, is is uh, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to play one of the slow games instead of leisurely because leisurely will take a long time. I'm fine with taking a long time, but sometimes you want to just play the game. So. Is there anything else that's changed in this, or is it mostly like cosmetic things, skinning things? Uh, for the chest theme, you mean? For for anything in general, like for the game in general. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's a there's a lot of a lot of additions. I guess the the big thing is just the scoring system. That's the most important. You know, now there are actually um, separate high score tables for each of the different paces that you play on. Right. Um, and you have your profile name that you create when you start that is associated with any scores that, that you make. So now there's actually a sense of progression and beating your previous scores and it, it just there's more of a feeling like it's, it's worth it to play as opposed to just getting a, sco a score like the way it was in the in the previous versions that you had played. Um, you would get a score at the end, but it's just like press enter to play again or quit, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, then you have to remember the high score and People like me don't remember things like that, so <laughs> right. it didn't work out too great. But yeah, so so it's like a little, not little, but like just a bunch of quality of life in terms well, of it, gameplay it's, things. It's mainly, it uh, it's feature complete now. You know, e yeah. everything that's necessary for yeah. it to be Scoop is in the game. Like all, all uh -huh. the core features. I mean, there's still a few, you know, smaller features that are not implemented, like gamepad support, um, you know, and things like that, but um, Ooh, that'd be fun, actually. I mean, there's there's controls in it, so it, as far as I'm concerned, for alpha purposes, it's feature complete. Um, and yeah, I, I will be adding game pad, game pad support and uh, uh, key configurations and things like that. That'll be fun well. to play. That'll be really fun to play. <laughs> I'm I've for the longest time like playing games. Like I think we talked about this last time. I'm, I've never been like a huge gamer person, 
So to me, playing games is like, oh, it's all this whole new thing. But um, with that, like with that mindset, I I comparatively recently got a, a controller, like a, I think it's like an Xbox controller for for PC or something, and. Um, well, that's pretty it's, much the standard. That's the one. Yeah, I yeah. So it's like, and, and trying to get used to it has just been the most strange thing. Because <laughs> I had to. I mean, some games use it, and I mean, obviously right. others don't. But it was, it was interesting to watch m myself get used to a totally new thing to me. And everyone else is like, seriously. But to me, it was a big deal. Okay. No, it is. I mean, if yeah. you're not if you're not used to that controls, it'd be the same if you'd never used a keyboard and mouse before. You know, if you'd yeah. been playing console yeah, exactly. games all your life, never touched a keyboard and mouse, and then you know you're expected to play a game with a keyboard and mouse, like it's going to feel weird and it's going to take some adapting. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I feel I feel like going into this one is I feel so much more prepared than last time. <laughs> just, be, right. just because I know what I'm doing. Right, and you'll notice uh, part of the theme, it actually changed the icons, the symbols on the... Yes, the I do like that. Yeah, it's cool. A cool um, little touch. It's it's not just this, like the symbol that's on it that changed, it's actually the whole image. Right now, um, the image is basically just the the change of the symbol that's drawn on, on right. top of it, despite the fact that it, it's it's a different sprite. Um, mainly because I didn't want to change the uh, the colors until I work on the theming support more, um, mm -hmm. so that I can have like the custom player images. Oh wow! So so you'll be able to have people create their own. Well, not so much that you'll be icons? able to create your own, but they'll be included as part of the theme. Um, so different themes are going to have different um, functionalities to them, different things that they change in different ways. Right. Um, for example, uh, it's really subtle, but if you actually look at the center area in this theme, on the mm -hmm. chest theme, uh, the t wood grain texture on those squares is uh, rotated uh, 90 degrees from yeah. the squares that are not. Yeah, you see that. Um, Hi, Sam. That's, you know, in, in addition to the, uh, the saturation and uh, darkness. Right, it's like slightly change. different. Right. I'm proud of myself that I can see that being colorblind and stuff. <laughs> but uh, that the uh, the center for this theme is actually a separate image that is just displayed in in, in the center for the, oh. that, that center. That oh, center. That, I see what you're saying. That's actually just that's actually you know a file that's not part of the game. It's it's when you install the game, it's in your install folder in the test theme, um, and that you know it's a separate image that's placed there. Um, cool. If the, the light and dark themes don't have that. Uh, the way the theming system works is it checks to see if the theme includes that kind of an image. If there's not, then it defaults just by uh, drawing a, a shaded, uh, like a, a semi-transparent rectangle over the center. Interesting. So basically, I could, I mean, I could go in right now and change that center image to something else. Uh, you probably could. Um, I, actually, I, I know you could because that's how I how I do a lot of the testing without having to recompile, uh, as far as testing theme support stuff. Um, obviously, that's not going to be officially supported for uh, for things like that. But uh, right. one one thing you can't do uh, is is create new themes that way. You can't just drop in a new folder. Right. Uh, right. I mean, it looks like you can, but you know, in the in the actual code of the game itself, it needs to know like what files to look for to actually be included to know whether it's in the premium or free version of the game. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, I have got pawns doing strange things here. Let's take care of this. <laughs> but that also means, by handling the themes that way, that also means that um, the premium themes are not, you know, they're not included in the game's code, so they're not sent with the free version of the game. Like, they're actually only included if you get the premium version of the game. Got it. That makes sense. Aha! Mission accomplished. Alright, so, like, I mean, other than that, everything's basically the same, right? So, you, the main thing is, is the, uh... Oh, gosh! 
the gameplay is the same. The story, I, I heard the, the music. I the heard the music go a little faster, and I got very stressed very quickly. <laughs> yeah, it went back down now. Your yeah. Your level I see is back to zero. But yeah, I mean that's only. Yeah. See, there it goes up again. There it goes. And and that's only one out of four. You know, you've got five. Oh gosh. You wrote through four, so. So the music is gonna get really depressingly intense. I'm gonna keep playing until I hear this music. I don't yeah, want to like. It, uh, throw the game, but I mean, if if you really want to see it quickly, you should have played on fast. Um, True. But, True. Uh, but I also wanted to do well. <laughs> you know, I, I would really like feedback on that system as well. Yeah. Um, now the music itself, like I mentioned before, is placeholder. That is definitely going to change. Um, okay. And I, I can talk a little bit in a minute about um, kind of my ideas for what it'll change to. Right now, it just changes the tempo. Um, mm -hmm. And it restarts the track, um, which I'm not too worried about uh, at the moment with, for reasons I'll explain in a minute. But um, what, the reason it's it's included, even though it's placeholder, is because I would really like feedback on how the intensity of the music reflects the actual like how much danger you feel that you're in. Uh, oh, for me, yeah, I got it. I, I have it kind of balanced to where it feels right for me. Like every time it feels like it's getting a little more dangerous, like it, every time it, the danger notches up for me, mm -hmm. the music changes. Right. Um, but I'd kind of like other other input on that as well. And, and you know, yeah, I'll, I'll balance it further if I need to. Um, well, my, my idea for the actual- I feel like I can go forever on this one. My idea for the actual music in the final game will be to uh, work on a composition where I can actually bring different... Uh, essentially, I'll have several different music tracks playing at once, and it'll mm -hmm. be like one song, basically, but, you know, different instruments, different, you know, pieces. Oh, that's you know, a cool idea, yeah. Different pieces of the song, and it'll all be playing at once, so it'll sound seamless. And then based on the intensity level, based on the danger level, I'll pull in and out different tracks from that mix to make it more intense that way. That's really cool, actually. So you could just have, like, the light whatever part of the instrument and pull that out to the right. forefront. Right, so, it, so it, you know, you'll start out with just kind of, uh, you know, a... Uh, I don't know, a, a much you know slower tempo sounding song, but then right. as as you uh, increase in danger, you bring in other things with you know like maybe getting into like sixty fourth notes and stuff like that, so that you can take what starts out as a, a relatively slow tempo and really increase the right. intensity of it. Cool, that's a good idea. I like I like that. I like that. It's gonna be fun. Oh gosh. I keep forgetting to to note where the new one's coming in, and I never think to look. Yeah. That's like my main oversight that I've noticed about myself. Yeah, and that's one thing that is going to be changing in the future, um, like the actual, just the way it's displayed for where, mm -hmm. where the, the next gym will be spawning. Yeah. Um, I mean, right now it works, and that's, you know, as far as being feature complete for the alpha, that's fine. But right. uh, going forward in the beta, that's one of the things I'm gonna I'm gonna be working on is coming up with a better way of making that information obvious, um, right? So so that you can see it easier without having to hunt for it and distract yourself. Yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Ha! This is gonna get scary fast. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's already scary fast. I forget how stressful this one is. Okay. Did 
you have any questions? Nope, I'm in focus mode right now. <laughs> I'm like, I want to do this. This, I mean, the the thing about this game is that it's it's so simple, but it, it is very addicting. Like while you're playing it, it's just like, no, okay, gotta get this, gotta get this, and you like plan out individual moves and stuff like that. Right. I mean, a, a, after the first the first time I played it, I was just in pure survival mode. I was like, what's going on? But you, you like you're right. Now you know as I've played it more, I can I mean I can see what's going on in the game, and I don't need to go pure survival mode necessarily except when I do so I yeah I mean there, there's constantly a, a balance of the risk and how much risk you're willing to handle mm -hmm. you know, how, how long are you willing to let something grow knowing that you need to be able to take care of it you know yeah. quickly and keep things out of the center mm, torn I actually had my first opportunity to get a uh, a, a full uh, seven combo of you know the same color. Wow! The other day, well, al almost. Uh, there were there was six uh, of the same color, and you know, I, I was just letting it grow and batting everything else away. It was towards the end of the game as well on fast, so it was getting Boy. pretty intense. Um, but I, I was just waiting to try and, for the first time ever, get that. But unfortunately, right. a different color spawned at the end, which which ruined it for me. But uh, it, it is it is pretty rare. Oh, I bet. I, I actually haven't uh, haven't been able to do that. I've gotten six a couple of times, uh, and of course I that was one not. of them. So okay. Yeah, I, I I still haven't gotten a uh, a combo of seven at the same time yet. Because of course that's really dangerous to let it grow that much. Yeah, you have to be yeah, able to. Sure. Uh, you have to be confident that you can you can be able to collect it and bat everything else away. I'm just gonna clear some stuff out here. The the thing about this game for people watching, hi Jesse and Sam. The thing about this game for people watching, if you have not played it. Um, it's one of those things where it it's easy to learn how to play. Like it's really simple, but you know, there was a the music. But like at a certain point, your planning functions just cease operating, and you just go into full-on panic mode. Yeah. Like right now with me, that I'm like happens in every game. <laughs> I'm just like, nope, can't plan anymore. Got to figure out how to get rid of things. Where's another rook? You know. And I, I think a big part of the reason that happens and, and what I like about the design is because the uh, the spawn rate is not static. It's, it's constantly oh gosh. Oh gosh. slowly increasing. Uh, this so you get comfortable scary. with a specific, you know, and then, like yeah. I can handle this. And, and then suddenly you know it's it, like, you know, lol nope. Things are getting out of control. You can't handle this. Yeah. Where's rooks? I need rooks. Okay, here we go. See, I can deal with chess. I can deal with chess pieces here. This is this is in my comfort zone ish. Uh, speaking of rooks, I need a queen. When did that happen? Um, I still haven't mastered like my understanding of how what changes and when. What do you mean? Like, um, when when I go and I hit the space bar, where my little guy is going to end up afterwards. I have not yet mastered that. You'll return to the same square you start from. But Except when you don't. You'll, well, you always will. You'll no, like always. that time I didn't. Like you'll, uh, you'll always return to the same square you start from, but you'll be facing the opposite direction. Oh, okay. I, I didn't realize, like, pointing up actually turns you that way. Meanwhile, I'm distracted. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that combo right there. That'd be nice if I could get that. If I don't kill myself first. Doing it. Oh, gosh. Not cool. Yeah, your danger level's increasing. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't hear the music because I've got my volume down. So oh. It's so it's yeah, not picked it's, up on my microphone. It is. The danger level has definitely increased. Microphone. Okay, like all planning has now ceased. I'm just like, my my little squares are an absolute mess. I don't have any good streaks going. I'm just. I gotta find a. I gotta find a uh, knight. 
How do I find a knight? Here, let's do this. Here, there, there, and let's just take care of things for now. Like that. This can take care of that and that. Yeah. So if there's anyone in the chat, we can give away a premium version later. Yeah, we can. How did you want to handle that? Um, I can just pull a, like a drawing thing of people that can enter, and then I will get, like, you'll know their Twitch name, and then you can just send the key to them in whatever fashion you feel fit, in like a Twitch message. Okay, so you're like, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're watching, if you're watching, like, you, you can hear, you can, I mean, you can hear the music increasing. Um, okay. <laughs> Make it stop! And like, don't, no, wait, don't make it stop. No! <laughs> like, make it stop means I lost. Uh, this way, this way. Yeah, there's also a sound effect when the game ends now that I don't Ooh. think was there the last time you Is it like the... Link, Link's death? That no, it's just kind of a, a staticky explosion sound. Uh, it's oh, actually okay. a, a, an electricity sound, um, but like a kind of an 8-bit chipping electricity sound. Got so, it. Um, All right, this is getting way terrifying way fast. It'd be amazing to see somebody like get truly great at this game and just keep everything at bay for like an hour on fast mode. I'm not even like... What's how do, how low does the spawn rate go in fast mode? Uh, it'll go down to half a second. Oh gosh, I'm at a second and one one thirty. Uh, nope. Yeah, you're at one point three seconds. No. What the heck? One point two. <laughs> no. And no. Now you're, uh, Make now it your stop. Your level is all the way up. New high score, y'all. I'm pressing enter. Uh, okay, that is not good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There it is. I just had to hit escape. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, yeah, I we heard it soon, Tolarian. We heard it. Escape will work. Um, I've never seen that happen with Inner before. Don't know. Um, so that's yeah, prob that's probably just on the premium version right now. But I'll have to take a look at that. I'll cut out another hot fix. I think I. I like the chest pieces, but I like the dark look. Yeah. This is this is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, if you guys are interested in a premium... So what exactly is the difference going to be between premium and the regular? Uh, well, the game is always going to be completely free as far as all the gameplay is, is concerned. Right. Um, none of the actual gameplay features are going to be locked out. Right. Uh, premium is basically just kind of a donationware model where if you want to help support me as a struggling indie developer um, and you know show your support you can spend 4.99 and buy the premium version and that will just get you a cosmetic extras the different themes right uh, which I'm going to be working on adding a lot of um, I'm working on the idea of like a, a custom theme so you can take bits and pieces of different themes and kind of choose your own custom one out of that right there's a lot of different kind of cosmetic only functions that I'll, I'll work on for the premium version right now it's still still early on um so there's only the chess theme right now but now that you know now that we're in the beta um hopefully there should be a lot more coming quickly now so if i do this let's see what happens just to be out of pure curiosity Pure curiosity here. Let's see what happens. Um, I feel like bad messing with your game. Oh gosh, that's what happens. <laughs> Apparently needs to be the correct size. It does. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably watching me going like, this is going to be funny. All right. <laughs> well, actually, I was watching just wondering, is that a PNG file? <laughs> yes, it is. Because uh, if it wasn't, it wouldn't work. <laughs> yes, it is a PNG. Well, now we know, guys. You can you can edit it, but you have to make sure it's the right size. Um, cool, cool. And it would be cool to have like a, you know, edit your own, 
theme thing where people can like make like a, a t if you had a template that people could make their own stuff because a lot of people like love designing stuff and it could be sort of a you know share your screenshot of your own scoop theme or something place where people can share their own themes that they've made well i mean there's only so much i can do with that because i need right. to keep the um like all, all of those actual files that are used in the themes uh, those all have to be specifically told within the game's code that these files exist and are part of the game. Uh, uh, so, you, so you can't just... Uh, you can't it, just it, be like, Bob theme, number 623. Like, you have to... Right. Yeah, like you got can't, it. You can't just make new themes. Got it. Um, but, you could replace a theme, but... You know, maybe hmm. if there's, if there's you know, customer demand for it, maybe I'll add a, uh, like a sandbox theme with instructions on how to change it to make it what you want, things like that. Cool. Yeah, that's uh, neat. You know, that's, that's an idea. But, I mean, that would be... It, it wouldn't really be for the casual player, like, because that's going to be, you know, your editing files, and, and like, that would be how, yeah. how they did that. Um, kind of the, the casual way of handling that will be uh, taking bits and pieces from all the different themes that are going to be part of the game and creating your own out of it, where you cho choose a different background image, choose a, you know, a different icon set, choose a different player ship, you know, all these things, and you can choose the individual elements, choose your background color, your text color. Right, right. Um, and there's a couple other colors, um, like the, uh, the button color that you're looking at right now uh, is, is a separate color that's part of the theme as well. All right, cool. Well, um, let's go ahead and do a giveaway. If you guys want a copy of the premium, so basically, again, the premium is going to have like the extra themes to it, other than just dark and light, right? Right. And that's pretty much the main thing, right? Yeah, that's basically going to be the only difference. Cool. Um, I, I specifically don't want to get into the the business model of nickel and diming people. Yeah. Or yeah. or. Uh, you know, withholding the, the gameplay. You know, like I want people to play the game. There's not really anything else like it. Um, it's started out as a Zoop clone, but it really became its own thing. Like Zoop only has four colors, so the strategies are very different since this has six. Zoop's a very faster pace, where as if you were to play at the pace of Zoop, you'd be dealing with like <laughs> your starting spawn time would be like a second or half a second. Uh -huh. um, It'd be awful. Which works fine in Zoop because there's only four colors, so right. things clump a lot more, um, and there's right. power-ups in that game as well. Uh, this, this really became its own slightly slower pace, more, strat you know, more strategic color matching sort of. Yeah, thing. especially like in the Leisurely, I feel like that game could go on for a long time. It can, and, and that's why I recommend Leisurely as uh, the first mode you play on. Like it's, for sure. It's, it's a great way to learn the game. Because the uh, the spawn rate only increases uh, based on how well you're how doing. Well you're yeah. doing. Uh, you know, right. for every every 100 points that you score, um, the the spawn rate is is going to increase slightly. So, cool, cool beans. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a giveaway um, of a copy of Scoop Premium. So, if you guys want a copy of that, go ahead and type exclamation point. Uh, exclamation point raffle in the chat I'm not sure how many people are here because it is kind of early on a Sunday morning um, but I'll be able to I'll, um, what I can do is export this video to YouTube and then you can use that as like a, a linked video or whatever of, a, of an update video for Scoop if you want so sure. um, thank you for coming and hanging out I appreciate it yeah thanks for taking another look at Scoop um, absolutely Tis fun. Tis fun. I, I hope you'll keep playing it in your own time and getting better <laughs> scores. And I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. There's just, there's so many games yeah. to play. Oh, it's I like, know. Ah! I'm, just, I'm a gamer too, man. I'm, you know, the, yeah. the, there's never enough time. I, I had to come to grips a few years ago with the realization that I am going to die before I finish every game I want to finish. <laughs> that's, just, that's just a reality. Yeah. Uh, yeah, or die playing the game. People want me to play Alien Isolation. That's happening in a, in about ten days, I think. I'm starting on the fifteenth. Yeah, I, I saw that. that. That actually makes me wonder. Are you taking like requests Ugh. for what games people want to watch you stream? Um, yeah. I mean, if people want, like, if there's a game that's you know comparatively like you know a, a reasonably popular-ish game, because I don't want to like 
I could spend 16 days streaming, you know, whatever, um, some some very very obscure game or a game that I don't necessarily like. It's not well, that. It's, like, not like it's always down my decision. Scoop. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I don't think I could handle playing Scoop <laughs> that, like for, for three hours. I would just be like, right. ah, the stress level would be too high. Um, I, I would really <laughs> like to see you play all the way through my favorite game, Deus Ex Human Revolution. I've, I want to play Deus Ex. I do. I've heard it's so, so good. So I do want to play Deus Ex. Um, yeah, I will, I will add that to the list. Cause, and again, I've got like a wish list on Steam, and my wish list is literally just games that people have recommended that you need to play this game. Right. I'm like, okay. Um, so there's there's a, a bunch of great games on that list, and it's like, uh, is is this the one you're talking about? Well, that's that's the original. That's a really good one as well. I was thinking Human Revolution. Was oh, okay. More, uh, I will I will add that to the list. All right. Um, Human Revolution. There we go. Unfortunately, the, the only one that's available now is the director's cut, which I have issues with. <laughs> but oh. um, it's uh, well. I, it's a director's I, cut. Yeah, I did like a four and a half hour podcast about you know, basically about that game. So if you want to hear specifically what my issues are with it, there's uh, an episode of Armchair Designers you could check out. But cool. Basically, right. a, a, it was originally put together for the Wii version, and uh, it was done by a different developer. There's a lot of great things about it, but there's some things that they really screwed up, like removing the yellow filter that was applied to everything, but leaving it in in the cutscenes so that it's not artistically cohesive. And I have issues with it being called a director's cut since it's not the, you know, <laughs> the actual artist's vision of how the game should look. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and draw this raffle. And the winner is Alib. Alib? I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Alib. I think it's Alib. Here we go. Let's just let's do this. I'll go Bam. Right back to the chat then. Because I've been in Skype looking at your shared screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will, I will, right, I will put it go. in Skype. I'll put it in the Skype chat so you can, you can get her name and you can well, send I'm, her. I'm in the Twitch chat now. All right. There you go. Leib has won the raffle. That's the name. Congratulations, Leib. You won your own copy of Scoot Premium. Um, cool. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate it. Lots of fun. Yeah, no problem. All right. Uh, we'll see you, I'm assuming, I guess, next build, if not sooner. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, the builds are going to be coming pretty quickly starting next week. But, oh my. you know, I'll, I'll uh, talk to you. In the future. Yeah, keep me posted. Keep me posted. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep you up to speed. Sounds good. You guys, this has been uh, David Lambert, also known as Brandon, also known as BD Marvel on Twitter. If you guys aren't already following him over on Twitter, and if you have a Twitter, it's at BD Marvel is his name over there if you want to keep mm -hmm. in touch with him and keep an eye on what's going on in the world of Scoop and other things game-related. Cool. Thanks, guys.